Hey everybody, this is Ninfan237, and um, yes, uh, this is going to be another update video. Um, let me just say for the record that uh, two videos, um, don't worry, uh, it's not like I'm delaying tactics or anything. Two videos are going to come up literally the day after this video comes out. So um, yeah, just let, I'm, I'm just going to say that first and foremost. Second, second of all, um, this video is going to be a this update video is going to be probably edited because uh, I also don't want to be rambling for like five hours and you and you guys hearing just like um for like three for like three of those five hours. But um anyways um so yeah uh, this is going to be a up little update video um about uh the channel and what's happening with my life and stuff like that um but first and foremost um is this hello there. Um, <laughs> besides, uh, Star Wars, uh, memes, uh, yes, uh, hello, um, this is a V2, uh, yes, this is, uh, this is me, or at least my VTuber model self, I, I, I guarantee you I'm a real person, I swear, but, um, anyways, uh, I decided to, uh, create a VTuber so that, uh, end cards of, um, my videos will be less boring and you're not watching a blue screen for five minutes, as well as, uh, these update videos. Sec- uh, first of all, uh, thanks to, uh, Saito Yuchi, uh, Yuichi, uh, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, uh, Thanks to uh, Saito Yuchi, Yuichi for making this. Um, I will have links to where you can find him for if you're looking for like V2 modeling or stuff like that. I will have links down in the description if uh, if you're interested. And uh, I will say that I'm thinking about getting back into streaming with uh, this model. If anybody's interested in like wondering if like that's on your mind or something but um currently speaking i don't have any immediate uh uh plans uh for the future uh due to um life stuff which um i'm going to explain now i guess so first and foremost why can't i uh why can't i just start streaming like immediately um uh th th this yeah Good job, good, good job, Nin fan. You're just, you're doing you're doing well. Editing me is gonna it's gonna have a fun time editing, cutting this down. Um, the main factor of why I can't really do streaming is due to how my PC is set up. Um, I'm just gonna admit this right now that I'm pretty much living with my uh, family. Yeah, what? Yeah, make make those jokes about like gr graduates like living with their family or whatnot. Or, Th those memes uh th they'll probably pop up right now whatever <laughs> um but uh currently speaking i'm living with my uh f with uh my family and uh how the way how my pc is set up or like my workstation uh is essentially i'm literally doing this in uh the living room at the moment in fact right now it's actually uh 11:23 as i film this 11:23 at night due to how uh, my pc is set up in the living room it kind of makes it hard to live stream because uh i just have like a really hard time like um trying to figure out how to like live stream and not have like constant background noise because um well obviously this is a living room and um my uh my parents and whatnot are pretty much roaming around the ho roaming around the house, or like sometimes they come here and do stuff. So it's like, and sometimes, uh, so it's like you know you kind of don't want private information to be shouting like while you're streaming or whatever. And uh, while some people might say, well, why don't you just go to your room where you uh, where you uh, sleep in or whatever? And uh, here's the problem with that. I technically don't have a room to myself. I, I, I'll I'll be honest with you. I, I don't have it technically a room to myself, and that's not because like my family is having like family issues or whatever or not. It most likely has to do with the fact that, uh, ironically, uh, my uh, my mom cannot sleep 
with my dad due to the fact that uh, he snores and he snores really loud and uh, they basically sleep in two separate rooms because of that. So um, I'm willing to respect their uh, decision on that, but it's like it makes it hard for me to actually uh, find a private space to do this kind of stuff because, well, basically my all of my stuff is basically like in a public area, which doesn't really make it good for like streaming because you don't want to be. You don't want to be streaming and then somebody like comes in and starts like giving their social security number like for some odd reason or whatever, y you know, stuff like that. So it makes it really hard to uh, stream or like find times to do the to like uh, f do these videos. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much the primary reason why I can't really do streaming and why these videos kind of take so long to make. It's just finding time to actually... Uh, you know, record voiceovers. Um, uh, secondly, uh, in my uh, secondly, uh, I I've recently just graduated from uh, university in a uh, degree in history. But um, while that might make some people say you got more free time, it's like you got more free time now because you're a graduate. It's like it, it's not that's uh, it's not that really simple. Um, so during my, one of my classes in, uh, the university, oh, uh, by the way, I'm keeping it, um, like the name of the university private because I kind of want, I kind of don't want to reveal that information because that I would, I personally speaking for me, I consider that information kind of private that I shouldn't really reveal publicly to YouTube, but, um, anyways, so, um, I graduate so during one of my classes in the university I was uh, I had to go and get an internship uh, somewhere in order to get uh, in order to get proper credit uh, one of the places uh, a place that I managed to get an internship in was a act was actually a eSports was a eSports slash speedrunning uh, organization called uh, Team IQ. Uh, I'll post a logo, like, right next to me. Over there. I don't, I, I don't know what editing, I don't know what editing itself is gonna do. Uh, um, so, uh, Team IQ put me as an ed- So, I managed to get, uh, internship at Team IQ, and they put me as an editor for a certain speedrunner. Now, I'm not gonna say his name, because I don't- exactly know if he wants me to do that he probably doesn't mind but i'm just gonna you know just take the caution i'm just i'm just gonna be cautious about it what i can tell what i can say though uh is what i can say is that currently as of this video currently as of the day of this video uh he currently holds the he currently holds the worldwide speed running record of Spyro the Dragon, as in Spyro 1 on the PlayStation. So, uh, so, uh, you can go look that up on, uh, speed, what is it, uh, speedrunners.com. I think, uh, I think that's it. I'll have a link in the description. But basically, that's the guy who I'm working for. That's the guy who I'm, uh, working for currently because, uh, he actually kind of liked, uh, like what I did and, uh, what I did during the internship and he had kind of hired me. So I'm kind of have like I kind of have like a part-time job with him, so uh, that keeps me busy. Uh, as well as um, I'm thinking I might be going into a master's program for my history degree. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it, honestly speaking, because if I'm gonna be totally honest, um, I'm still trying to figure out like not gonna lie, my life and what I want to do with it uh, because. Uh, you know, uh, whatever you do is based, because, like, whatever I, uh, what am I trying to say? I'm still trying to figure out, like, what I want to do with my life specifically, but the one thing I want that I know for sure is that I want to at least keep this channel going, um, because I like making videos, and I like making these videos with you guys, uh, for you guys, as well as, like, doing research on, like, video game development, video game history, and, uh, just, like, you know, seeing what people have, like, 
um, digged up in terms of beta stuff for uh, in terms of like video games or like maybe even development thing uh, development uh, history that maybe people have forgotten or just don't know about um, this coupled with my um, life adult responsibilities uh, just you know it, it makes it really hard to find free time if I'm gonna be honest with you like the one thing I know I want to do is keep this channel going at the moment but I'm still but I still don't know if I want to actually make it like full time if that makes any sense with uh, if that makes any sense with you guys um what else I just realized <laughs> how long have I been recording oh look at that it's 14 minutes Editing me. How long? How long is the video right now? Is that long? Um, I'm pretty sure it's shorter. I, I, I wouldn't know at this moment in time. But anyways, uh, on to the actual channel updates. So, like I said, uh, two new videos will be going up uh, the day after this video goes up. Um, I still have to edit this video, technically speaking, so I don't exactly know when this video is going to go up. But for sure, the day after this video goes up, two new videos will be going up. One of them is going to be uh, the beta files of Wii Sports, as I've told before in my uh, other update video. The other one is a new series that I'm calling the Archive Files. It's a series that basically tells... Uh, it's a series that's based on telling like the development and history of a game, and it's very impacts on gaming history in general sort of a retrospective kind of video but not really I wouldn't also really call it a uh maybe it is a gaming history <laughs> it's a gaming historian video um no it's not uh maybe I don't know uh you'll you'll be the judge of uh you guys will be the judge of that I am so bad with words <laughs> Uh, but uh so yeah a new series will be uh, a new video uh, a new starting video, should I say, of uh, the archive files will also be uploaded alongside the beta files of Wii Sports. The new, the archive files, the first archive files video, uh, will be based on the Sega Japan, uh, Sega Japan exclusive game, uh, Sakata Wars. Uh, it was released for the Sega Saturn in 1996, and, um, it's got some, uh, you know, despite it being a, what, what, uh, despite it being a, what some people would call a dating sim game, it's pretty interesting for a dating sim game uh, because it has also RPG aspects, and I figure, and I figure that a game like that has to have like some sort of interesting development history as well as it does have important ties to Sega's history in some aspects, as well as like just being the start of a huge franchise that I. That, um, not gonna lie, I don't think many people have actually heard about. So, um, yeah. Please go check that out. Um, another thing. Uh, despite me having a job as, uh, as the editor for that, uh, speedrun- For that Spyro 1 speedrunner I talked about, uh, I'm gonna open a domation- Uh, do domation? Domation page. Yes, English. In, that that's English up there. You see that? That's that's good English. No, that's that that's not good English. <laughs> um, uh, so despite me having a job as an editor for uh, that speedrunner, um, I'm gonna open up a donation page, uh, so that I can help keep the channel going and put money back into the channel to make it better, like uh, possibly buying a new mic because uh, this is the. This is the mic I have now, uh, right beside me. It's a Samsung, uh, small Samsung portable go mic. I used it. Uh, I bought this mic mostly because I was transferring in between, uh, my home and university back then, but, uh, I'm pretty sure I could buy a better mic with, uh, with, um, uh, more money. One that has, like, better quality and doesn't really, you know, is, isn't that really small. As well as, uh, I'm actually planning to do a archive uh, files video on the Virtual Boy, but for that video, I need an actual Virtual Boy, something I really don't have, and something that is stupidly expensive. You can probably see those prices right now. Those are like, probably, those are probably like, 
day prices and i'm pretty sure they and i can't see it right now i'm pretty sure though they cost at least 300 dollars which for a virtual boy i guess that makes for you know for a thing like for a what is essentially a retro three uh retro 3d headset in the 90s i guess it's kind of expected but it's like it's still expensive either way, and uh, I'm gonna need to actually buy a Virtual Boy at some point if I want to make that video, so, um, yeah. Uh, and, th and, uh, that should be about it. Maybe. Do I have anything else? Hold up, I need, I need to, I need to check my notes. No, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, yes, I had notes here because, uh, again, I'm bad with words and I end up stuttering a lot anyways um so uh again two videos of the beta f two new videos are going up the day after this video is uploaded and um yeah uh i just hope um i just want to also thank you guys for uh thank uh you guys for those who have stayed here and not unsubscribed to me because i noticed over time that some people were unsubscribing not gonna lie but i can't really blame them um, but I like to thank, uh, I like to thank those of you guys who actually stayed here and even, like, just stay subscribed and just, like, uh, kept watching my videos even though I wasn't really uploading anything. I, I can't thank you guys enough. It's literally the only thing that's been, uh, making me, like, it's literally been the only thing that's actually driven me to continue doing this because honestly speaking it's it's a lot of work doing these videos and i'm just glad that somebody's actually just enjoying uh what i put out and what i research especially uh especially with the amount of hours it takes to just like confirm something or like research uh in depth uh stuff as well as just the editing in general it's massive massive amounts of hours but anyways uh so yeah um that should be about it so uh my name's namefan237 thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you well i see you guys tomorrow <laughs>